position rather than get the touchdown, you know what I mean? Because he knows that's all you need. Where Peyton, I feel like he tries to go for it all on him most of the time. That's why his stats are so great, but it can hurt his team at the same time. Because you look at how many passes. He wasn't having a great game throughout, and you see how many passes he took. It's like at one point, he should start doing something else. I never really see him try anything else. Because he can't run. Yeah, that's the thing about him, too. It's just he was just – the running game has not been his best. It's been better this year. And, yeah, I do think he does pull out on himself as well. I, that's what – Man just expects himself to be really great, which uh-huh. he should. So, but it's still we're we're the midpoint of the season. We'll see how it goes. It's gonna be interesting, you know. The Patriots now. Oh yeah. Leading the other division due to the top. That's record, one so. thing I won't do is sleep on them because you know, five weeks ago everybody was sleeping on the Patriots. Tom is washed up. He doesn't have enough weapons. Blah blah blah. Yeah, I'm not sure who sitting. was foolish enough to start sleeping on that guy. The, the guy sitting Super next Bowl. to me. But, the guy, you know, I'm not going to do the same thing to Manning. I'm not going to sleep on him. He didn't fall off. He had a bad game. Yeah, I was I was the one who said that, too. I thought he was washed up and needed some more weapons. But and I, hence, told you, I told you to shh. Hence, this is why uh, this is the NFL season is, is a long process instead of two games. Uh-huh. So, <laughs> yep. it, anyway. 16 weeks, man. <laughs> Anyway, let's get into the NFL picks. Here. What? Okay, so you get to say who your favorite is. Oh. He gets to say, I don't know. I'm done. I not, no, yeah, no, we got to no. hear him. We got to hear him. Mr. Carter. No, 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 no. Let's hear Mr. Carter. I have no favorite quarterback. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. <laughs> nope. Blake Bortles. No. <laughs> <laughs> Let him go five, six years down the road. Then, then I'll start yapping about him. <laughs> nah, Aaron Rodgers. Ooh. You can have the old dude. Okay. You uh-huh. can have him because... They've done all this stuff in their past. They're still doing well in their present. Aaron Rodgers is a bad, bad man. (laughs) If you wanted to give me somebody right now and say, who do you want to start a team with? I'll take Aaron. But get out of here. I'll take Aaron Rodgers. I know you didn't say Colin Kaepernick. (laughs) Oh, nah. (laughs) You can take that note note and go somewhere else with it, Chris. (laughs) No, Aaron Rodgers right now. I take him and start a team with him right now. You give you give me any my choice in any of them. That's the guy I want right, right there. Now. That's the guy. And then that's project you for success with Debbie right there. That's the dude. He does everything. He runs. He's smart. He's good. And he has that. weapons. Yeah. No running game. Uh-huh. Sort of, kind of. How but many, he has weapons. How many complaints has it been about his offensive line not being the greatest too? He's still. Able Man, to he's play. still badass. He still made plays, right? He's, yeah. Legit. Another guy, I know he's shaky and everything, but I love Russell Wilson. Okay. I love Russell Wilson. Russell that's, Wilson. That's when you like, say. I'm with when, you. I'm with you. You can like suck Russell for three Wilson quarters as long as you're there in the fourth quarter. That's what I give a shit about. And he's always there in the fourth quarter. Always. I'll say this, though. I like Russell Wilson, too. I agree with you. But I feel like like from, from going forward now, now that there's no Percy Harvin, it seems like that whole defense that everyone was scared of is a thing of the past. Like, not to say that they fell off, but, like, you know, they're not, like, the stifling defense they were last year. They get- I feel like now, going forward, like, the next year or two, it's going to be a better uh, grade for what Rus- Russell Wilson really is. Because he benefited a lot from the running game and the defense and Percy Harvin and whatnot. But no, now all three on. of those things are gone. Hold on. I feel I- like with Brady and Manning, no matter what their team, or in Rodgers, no matter what their teams have gone through, Bad old lines, no receivers, whatever the case may be. Bad defenses, they have never, like, waned or folded or anything like that. Russell Wilson, he's done good, but he's had great everything else. What? So, if he does, if he, he has, he's had pretty good teams over, overall. He's got a good running game and a good defense. His receivers are poof. Percy well, Harvin didn't what, even, Percy though, Harvin right? didn't even play does. in if their whole Super Bowl year. Great, He'd only played one, him, you know what I mean? he played one game his whole Super Bowl year. It, when it comes to the fourth quarter and being clutch in a big game, Russell Wilson is more clutch than Peyton Manning is. See, I that's can't, I can't think. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, proven. Yeah. It's proven. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. It's proven. He is more clutch in a big game situation when it comes down to you need to make this game winning drive. Who would you want? There's three guys that I probably want: one Tom, one Russell Wilson, and Aaron Rodgers. Those are three guys. I don't want Peyton because Peyton has that bad thing of collapsing, of coming in upon himself and just blowing it. Romo does the same exact thing. 
great the whole game, but then when it comes to that time that they need him to show up the most, something happens to where a thing clicks in his head and it, he just becomes dumb. But yeah. Russell did it. Russell did it last year without Percy. Percy wasn't there except for the Super Bowl. And they didn't even really need him there in the Super Bowl because they blew him out. But yeah, Russell did sure. Russell did all that. All that that comeback against the 49ers. He took them down, they scored, they come down, and then the defense stopped the 49ers from scoring. But Russell had to take them down and score before then. I'll say this. I'll say this. Because that's where he showed I, up. I, I totally agree with you. I totally agree with you. Russell Wilson, I think he is right. In terms of his new quarterback class, he's <laughs> arguably the top. Between him and Andrew Luck, obviously. Don't right? And because he has the ring. But um, what I'll say is this, though. Like, I feel like he hasn't had too much adversity thrown his way. And that's, I feel like, what separates the good fits from the greats. Like, the greats are the people who have adversity coming their way. You know, Peyton Manning, neck surgery, all this kind of stuff, no running game, whatnot. Brady not having enough weapons, not having a great O-line, so on and so forth. Rodgers having no O-line and everything like that. It's still great, regardless of that situation. Russell Wilson, I felt like this is his first time being um, in an adverse situation where things are not necessarily in his favor, you know what I mean? If he continues to play that well, then I think, he, yeah, he's, he's definitely one of the next greats up. But I do agree with you. He's good so far, but I'm, I just want to see more. What's Tom Brady had adversity? In terms of his, his offense, like, in terms of his weapons, like, he's never really had the only, like, He's got the same weapons. poopy weapons that freaking Percy Hart, or freaking Russell Wilson have. Russell Wilson is throwing well, no, the guys you saying. don't even this know their name. Saying, no, this is his first time, this is his first time dealing with, like, this year. It's no, it ain't. First time dealing with bad weapons. No, it ain't. How not? Deion Branch was your number one receiver for years. That, he's not a weapon. He was, he was doo-doo. Y'all had a great defense to go along with Tom Brady. Your running game has always been poop. Y'all, no, I can't say that. It ain't always been poop because they had Dylan. They had all these guys. So Brady, yeah, Brady has had Brady right now has had more weapons to get the ball to. He's had the same amount of weapons that Russell Wilson is. Russell Wilson was the guy that was always too short, too deep. He's had adversity since he came into the league. When you say the man doesn't have adversity, he has adversity. He's freaking five foot ten, and he's playing and he's quarterback. Had, and he's playing he's quarterback in the NFL at a the very high level. Man. But he's also had a, he, he also had an astounding running game and an astounding defense for those years. So did like, you? Tom Brady what? had extending everything too. So, so Corey, Corey but then in the fourth quarter, quarter, when you Marshall had to ask Lincoln, a guy when Corey to show up and play, the they show, when they show up. According to you, Marshawn Lynch and Corey Dillon. Or the same guy. Corey Dillon. Corey Dillon. Or, 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 or is it Shane Vereen? Or, 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 Corey or, Dillon or, had a thousand yards. He had over a thousand yards for you guys. You I know you may not have been alive for it, would, would, but he had he had thousands of yards. He had fifteen hundred yards. Would you would you rather have Lynch or Dillon? During his payday, Corey Dillon was a beast. Corey Dillon was the same kind of back ass. This, 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 this is what the people Lynch. do when they, don't, when, they don't, when they don't like the Patriots. They try to make everything else seem like it's not as bad as the How Patriots. How do I say I not like I'm, the Patriots? I'm, I'm I picked them to, to go to the Super Bowl, genius. I'm used to it, though. I'm not saying nothing. I'm comparing the two quarterbacks. They have exactly the same crap that they have to put up with. They have exactly the same type of people all throughout their career. Russell so far and Brady when he be, They had the same poop receivers. And they have a, and they had the same type of running back. Y'all had Corey Dillon rushing for fifteen hundred yards. He had Marshawn Lynch. He had Marshawn Lynch running for fifteen hundred yards. It's different now. But you also got to look at one thing nobody's even mentioned: the Which guy is? wearing the headsets. The guy. Where oh, don't give me this. Oh, please. Are you going to give Belichick all the credit for No, I'm not giving him all the credit. The man's an offensive genius, yes or no? Who, Belichick? The man's a great schemer, Wait, yes or no? Bill, Belichick has been an offensive genius only when Tom Brady got drafted. No, he, he was wasn't. Like, was it? How many he, other places he has he been? 65 before Brady came How in. How many other now places has he been? Like 60 
seven. How many other places has he been? Got. Also, also, he got fired from the Cleveland Browns okay. before that, and and was on the hot seat for New England for underperforming because he was fifty-one and like sixty-five. Brady comes in now a few years later. He's one thirty-nine and like sixty-seven or something like that. Right, but you got. Coincidence. You got to put it. No, it's not coincidence. When you he, have a good quarterback, when you have a good does. quarterback, your scheme becomes ridiculous. When you have a good quarterback, your scheme becomes ridiculous. But there has to be some sort of scheme that gets put in to well, make that quarterback feel problem. comfortable. What, so, so what's Drew Brees' problem? Is Drew Brees not great now? No, he, Peyton has lost his head. He's not having. A, he's not having a good year. But he's. He was a considered a great quarterback year after year after year after year. And he's he done it at two different places. All of a sudden, of a is he all of a sudden a bum? Or is uh, it because he's also done it with poop wide receivers too and won the Super Bowl. He didn't have many weapons either. Most of his receivers are poop, just running the mill guys that they make great. All right, let's. Uh... Yeah, I guess, I guess Jimmy Jimmy Graham is the is poop. He didn't win. He didn't have Jimmy Graham when he won the Super Bowl. Come on, man. Think. I'm talking about this year. I'm not talking about this year. I'm talking about I'm, overall. See, you focus it on this year. You focus it on this year. You have to focus over the whole thing. Stop over talking me too. This year. I brought up how he was struggling this year. And to, to come back to your point about, about how your, your, your schemes get better when you have a good quarterback, that's not true because Drew Brees is probably a Hall of Famer. Maybe, I don't know, but he's probably a Hall of Famer. Yeah, he's probably a Hall of Famer. And he still has good receivers. He still has good weapons. And everyone was favorites of them going into this year. Now they struggle. So what is it now? Is, is, is Drew Brees a bum? Or is it the, is, is it the scheme fault? Whose fault is good it? Weapons. But like when, when it comes to Brady, it's all Belichick, right? But I didn't when say that. Three, I said you have. I said you have to take everything into consideration. I didn't say Brady was made because of Belichick. I didn't say Belichick was made because of Brady. The two work hand in hand together. See, you take everything I say and you're throwing it out there when everybody knows what I'm saying. You take two and two together, and that's what makes a great combo. I'm not saying one makes one, one makes the other. I'm saying they both make each other. You're taking everything. You're not listening. You're hearing Jimmy, but you're not listening to Jimmy. You're not listening to what I'm trying to tell you. Right. People that have poop around them can make them better. And Ski, that still doesn't explain. Wise, that doesn't explain Drew Brees because that, that's why I keep bringing him up because that he still out, has 400 point. yards that throwing point, a game. That, that throws out your whole. Their point. defense also sucks. That may be a reason why they're out getting blown out. Point. That may be a reason why they're getting beat because they have no defense. All right, let's 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 uh, bring this back down and let's go ahead and make the NFL picks. Uh, we'll go ahead and transition to the NFL picks the Sunday. We got the first game, uh, the Kansas City Chiefs at the Buffalo Bills. Uh, we're going to go ahead and let our guests take the first shot at who you got winning and, and come up with a bold prediction about this game if you could, Ambro. Uh, I got the Chiefs, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> I can't make a bold prediction for the Bills. I mean, I just, like their quarterback situation is a joke. So, just as simple as that. Like, if your quarterback, that's like the most important position on the field. So, I just don't, I don't believe in their play call neither to make up for it. Because there's some quarterbacks who aren't that great where they're like their coaching staff or whatever can kind of disguise it. I don't believe in it that at all. I think they're just. I think they're a team that's trying to compete. That's like so close. The rebuild mode is not even funny. I mean, their defense is better, but I mean, well, not, you, not enough to beat Kansas City entirely. No. All right. Okay. You got a score now, or you going you want to take a shot at the score or no? What do uh, you, you think? Man, the score I think that be? might be a route, honestly. <laughs> you call blowout. That, that, that might be a route. Yeah, that, it can, it can be a route. Okay. All right. You want to go, Mr. Carter? I'll give it like a like a like a thirty to fourteen. Thirty to fourteen. Okay. Uh, Kansas City at Buffalo. Kansas City wins a close game. Kansas City? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and choose uh, Kansas City as well. And, yeah, they're on the road. So, it, it, this probably about within a touchdown here. Uh, Buffalo is pretty, pretty decent at home. So, I'm going to go ahead and go with Kansas City as well. I'm going to say my bowl prediction, uh, Charles probably get on the ground probably 100 yards. I mean, that's not really a bowl prediction. But. Damn, I missed it. I missed the beer and bacon festival. So, that's that's you going to go with. All right, next game is the Miami Dolphins at the Detroit Lions. Mr. Amber, who you got, uh, sir? I, I think I'm going to go with the Dolphins, man. Like, before, 
even in his first year, I was like, yo, I kind of like this Ryan Tannehill dude, man. Like, and I felt like he's had to deal with a lot his first three years, and not enough credit get given to him for that. Like, it's just never been a great situation in Miami for him. Right. Um, and he's he's been like he's been pretty good actually. He's actually been pretty good overall. At least pretty decent, you know. And he's seems like he's coming alive finally. It seems like you know, as long as there's nothing. Ridiculous.